Well, we've reached a point now where um, we're capable of doing gender selection. Uh, so people can choose whether or not they want a boy or a girl. Um, we do this in conjunction with um, family balancing in the sense that uh, if this is going to be your first pregnancy, well, you'll just get what you get. But if you have two or three of one gender and you'd like another one of a different gender, uh, then this is something that we would consider helping you with. There's really two ways that we can do that. It's the sperm that determines the gender of the embryo. Um, half the sperm carry a Y chromosome, they're going to make a boy embryo, and the other half carry an X chromosome, and they're going to make a uh, girl embryo. So you can approach it by sorting the sperm so that um, you would only um, expose the eggs to X-bearing sperm if you only wanted girls, or Y-bearing sperm if you only wanted boys. And the sperm can be sorted um, there's a, a pretty efficient uh, method called microsort, and that's currently in FDA trials. Uh, we are participating in that FDA trial, so it involves um, taking a sperm sample and having it sorted in Virginia and frozen and sent back up, um, but we can, we can work with that. It's not 100%. Okay, but the uh, statistics um, are, or the percentage enrichment of a particular gender is very high. Uh, the other way to go around this is uh, something called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. In this case, we uh, just fertilize the eggs with sperm, uh, whatever nature decides, and then we biopsy the embryos on the third day of development. That is, we make a hole in that protein coat that surrounds the uh, developing embryo, and we take out one of the cells, and we send that off to a genetics laboratory, which then tells us whether that cell has two X chromosomes, and it's a female embryo, or an X and a Y chromosome, and it's a male embryo. And then, because all the embryos are kept separate and numbered, we know that, say, number two and four and eight, are female and you know one three five and seven are uh, are male uh, we can we can preferentially transfer those embryos um, so that the we're going to enhance the chances of that particular gender